Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to do a comparison between four different lavalier microphones and as an added bonus I'm going to also include two desk microphones. Uh, this way you can uh, kind of gauge how they sound indoor and what kind of difference we have here. So in this video I'm going to have two pop voice microphones. One is the PV510 Plus and the other one is the PV610 Plus. I wonder if they have models without the Plus. It's kind of weird. We're going to have the CQ and we're going to have the U mic. Now, the U mic uh, did not pass this test. I thought that I got defective the first time around and I reordered a new one. So this is in fact how I mean, I would say once you get a second one and it has a problem, then that means that somewhat this mic just has a problem in general. So you're going to see in the video uh, that it does indeed have an issue. I started all the tests with testing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I read these three sentences because I was reading somewhere that this is a good sentences for microphone testing because it has the P's and it has the T's and so on. So this video is a comparison for an indoor test. In the next following videos, I'm going to do an outdoor test where I'm going to test these exact lavaliers besides the U mic because it completely failed outdoors. This way we can see if they have differences in rejecting outside noise because you really want to, uh, to get the sound of the subject and not other distractions. All right, let's start with the uh, testing. This is the test of the PV510 Plus Lavalier Microphone. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Press the pants and saw a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. This is a sound test using the Pop Voice PV610 Plus. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Press the pants and saw a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. All right, and now I'm testing the CQ lavalier microphone. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Press the pants and saw the button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Okay, and now we're testing the U mic lavalier microphone. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Press the pants and saw the button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. This is a microphone test of the Audio-Technica AT2035. Testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, one, two, three, four. Press the pants and saw a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. This is a test of the Blue Yeti Pro USB. This is the test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. Press the pants and saw a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. All right, so now that you heard all these microphones, you tell me which one you preferred, because frankly, all these three, the CQ, the Pop Voice, the two models, they actually sounded about the same. I'm not sure which one sounds better. Maybe you could help me with that. The U mic completely failed, and I, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Besides, I'm glad that you can avoid it now that uh, you've seen this video. If you like this video, please, please thumb up. If you hated it, please hit that dislike button as fast as you can. But don't forget to tell me why, okay? That's the deal. If you hit that dislike button, at least tell me why. All right, catch you in the next video. Till next time. Bye.